Hi Capricorns and welcome to your love reading. This is the Dream Medium. Welcome to my channel. So this reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Venus and we're going to be looking into your love life to see, you know, what's going on, what you need to know. Let's see. What's going on in Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Venus? Love life. Let's see. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Venus. What is going on? <clears throat> All right, so you have the Six of Swords, you have the Ace of Wands, and you have the Three of Pentacles, all right? It is raining outside, so I actually like the sound of the rain, but hopefully it doesn't irritate you guys. So clarifying the Six of Swords, Five of Cups came out, Queen of Cups. Oh, there's a lot of sorrow that I am feeling from your person, Capricorn. Um, this person wants forgiveness. They want forgiveness. But you know what's interesting is um, it's like uh, the, the individual that you're dealing with, it's almost like they have two personalities, all right? This is someone who likes to be in control. This is someone who doesn't really like to be vulnerable and I feel like things have gotten out of hand between the two of you and they're trying their hardest to figure out how they can get things back to normal. And um, let, let's just start from with the six of, six of Swords so I can't confuse you guys. With the Six of Swords here, your love interest Capricorn is wanting to move forward with you, okay? They recognize, they acknowledge that a lot of damage has been done to this connection, okay? They realize that they have definitely backstabbed you, that they have done you wrong. Um, I do feel like the both of you have been hurt by each other. Um, in Clarity of the Six of Swords, you have the Five of Cups. This is crying over spilled milk, all right? This is having a lot of regrets, wanting to fix what they broke, pretty much. Um, they are taking a lot of blame for what transpired in the past and especially for some of you what transpired recently um wow they're feeling really really bad like i feel i feel so sad okay they there's a lot of sorrow around this individual because you know it's almost like you remember how in in the beginning of the reading i was like this person seems to have two personalities because when they when they become insecure, that's that's when those bad habits comes in. When they become insecure, that's when they they kind of become a control freak, needing to control everything, know everything about you. And I feel like all this person really wanted to do was to get close to you, but the way that they went about it was really toxic. Um, it's like they love you so much but they don't know how to control that love and it makes them crazy and it makes them a very controlling partner. Um, I really feel like the love that they this person has for you is immense. Um, but I don't think this person has ever felt this way about anyone. And if they have, I feel like it's something with their childhood trauma where when they did care this deeply about someone, they got abandoned. I feel like your partner, your love interest, Capricorn, does have abandonment issues, um, which is what stemmed a lot of their other unhealthy traits. Um, but they love you a lot, and they are very sorry. In Clarity of the Six of Cups, you do have the Eight of Pentacles here. They're trying to fix this. You can literally see with the Eight of Pentacles, this gentleman here, these cards are not gender specific, but you can see this gentleman here with his with the hammer in his hand and he's nailing this, you know? And what he doesn't realize is it's possible. What your person doesn't realize, Capricorn, and what I'm hearing about them is it's never too late to change. Your person is capable of changing and capable of letting go of unhealthy habits that they have learned long before you even met them. So don't take the things that they have done to you personally. I actually feel like because of you, this person will be forced to change. Um, 
This is them trying to start over with the Eight of Pentacles, trying to do things better. And what your person doesn't realize is that because they're actually doing the work, the necessary work, they will get their heart's desire. They will get their wish. You see this gentleman over here working and he doesn't even know that he's acquiring all of these pentacles and pentacles represents abundance. This is like a reward for their hard work. So if your person puts in the hard work, I do see change, positive change between the two of you. I feel like something hit them recently something hit them and they realized that they had gone too far. That they had gone too far and that they had really sabotaged a beautiful connection. In Clarity of the Six of Swords, you have the King of Swords, all right? So it, the King of Swords is their ego. This person wears a mask. There's a facade here where with the king of with the king of swords because they are so fearful of showing vulnerability they tend to put on this mask acting like they don't care acting very cold some of them may even act player like very reckless with your feelings for them and i do feel like they do want to come towards you they will come towards you but i see that their pride and ego will make them come towards you in a manipulative way. The intention, their intention is good, but because they've really messed up and it, it has hit them that they really messed up, with the King of Swords here, now that they're becoming insecure, especially the fact that they feel like they're losing you, remember, every time this person gets insecure, that's when all of those like really bad habits comes in. They get triggered. So now you're dealing with the king of swords and I feel like to get you back, they're going to use a very manipulative tactic, but it is just their pride and ego that is working in them right now, but their intention is good, if that makes sense. Um, in clarity of the six of swords, you have the page of pentacles. Pages represent a form of communication, all right? So... Like I said, what, seconds ago, they will come towards you. They will give you an offer. But I just feel like this person's going to make things worse even more. This is an apology. Remember how I said their intentions are good. Like their goal is to commit. You see this pentacle here? This is a commitment. This is a serious relationship. But this person is so freaking obsessed with with being having dominance over over people. They are a control freak. So they're not going to come to you all warm and, and fuzzy and romantic. They're going to come towards you in a way that will manipulate your feelings so that they can be in control of the situation. Remember that you are the one with the power. And I feel like Capricorn, you, you tend to forget that. This person may act like they're the boss and they're doing their own thing and they're this and that, ego and pride. But this person is so affected by your mood. I mean, everything and anything that you do triggers this person. So remember your power. In Clarity of the Six of Swords, you do have the Queen of Cups. This is you, all right? This is you being the Queen of Cups. And the thing with the Queen of Cups is she knows who it is that she wants to give her cup to, her offer. But notice how there's a little bit of hesitation here, okay? She has two hands on her cup. So it's like, I want to give you this cup, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you're deserving. See this? She has sort of like a scowl on her face because she's watching intently to see if this person is worthy. So you're on to them as well. You're not just any, you know, desperate woman or desperate man that's just going to welcome them back into to your life after the damage that they did. And on the back of the deck, you even have the six of wands. All right. So this is victory after war, pretty much. Like I said, their intentions are good, but man, this person's pride and ego really makes them look 
like a bad person, appear as a bad person, but they're not. Clarify the Ace of Wands. You have the world. Eight of Swords. And you have the Hermit. I feel like this person is in distress right now, Capricorn, over you because they have envisioned a future, a life with you, marriage, children, accomplishing your goals. And regardless of what happened between the two of you, they never lost hope. They never uh, let go of that vision. But because of what happened recently, they really feel like it's most likely over. You know, um, with the Ace of Wands here, this is them being so incredibly passionate to push the connection forward with the world card here. It's almost like they don't even want you to remember what happened in the past, even though that's impossible. You know, you can forgive, but it's hard to forget. And so... I do feel like their approach right now is just out of fear, fear that they have lost control of this situation, fear that they have lost you. And um, although the world card here, they're wanting to push forward, they have a lot of determination to do so. They know that you are here with the eight of swords. They know that they put you in this eight of swords position feeling stuck, feeling confused, not knowing who to believe, what to believe. And they know that they have pushed you to this hermit energy. They've pushed you in this hermit energy of you retreating pretty much and isolating yourself from the world. They want to fix it. They want to fix it. They want to bring you out of this, but it's like, you know, it's better said than done or is easier said than done. Next, you have the eight of pentacles. Three of pentacles. Did I say eight of pentacles? Clarify the three of pentacles. The devil. This is your sign. This is your sign, Capricorn. Tell me more about this Three of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Who here is having the third party? Oh, wow. Give me a second because the, the three, three of Pentacles has been coming up in your reading a lot. All of your recent readings, there's some kind of three that pops up, where there's the three of pentacles, three of cups. So we're going to get to the bottom of this, Capricorn. Tell me about the three of pentacles. The lovers, ten of wands, king of wands. On the back, you have the eight of wands. Oh, I see what it is. Oh, drama. I see what it is. Your person feels like you have a third party. I wanted to make sure that it wasn't them who has the third party. Your person feels like you have a third party. And they're, this person is already crazy about you as it is. So if you can only imagine them feeling or thinking that you have a third party. Good luck with that one, Capricorn. I pulled out a lot of clarity, but we're gonna go through all of them. So the three of pentacles here, they're coming in, all right? They're coming in because they feel like, they feel like they've been cheated on, pretty much. This is how much this person has been holding on to you. For some of you, it's been so long since you communicated with them. It's been so long since you saw them, but because this is a soulmate connection, the two of you have been together spiritually, energetically. The two of you have been together. 
It's like till death do us apart pretty much. And it's so beautiful how the two of you can connect with one another without needing to physically be together. It's almost like this is a relationship, even though it's not, okay? But in their, in their head and in your head as well, this is a relationship. Despite what is happening in the physical, you guys know that this is a spiritual connection. It's a soulmate connection. And um, with the Three of Pentacles, they feel like they've been cheated on, which is crazy because... You know, they could have been dating other people as well. But the second they have some kind of inkling, for some reason, this person got some kind of information. Maybe that they're just very intuitive that you are seeing someone else. Right. And um, in Clarity of the Three of Pentacles, you have the Knight of Cups. So this is them coming in to disrupt your connection with another person, especially for those of you where for sure you're dealing with someone new. This per, you know, they're they're going to come in as a knight of cups. This is like an immature energy. And because they are being immature because they're trying to come in to distract you from connecting with someone else. You also have the 10 of swords here. They are feeling the ultimate betrayal. Okay? They are feeling the ultimate betrayal here. Like this person is broken. Even here with the star, I feel like they've been manifesting you. I feel like a lot of them have been hoping and praying that a breakup happens between you and the other person. You have the nine of wands. They are standing in their, they're standing their ground. You know, it, it's it's almost like now they're they're kind of paranoid. They feel like it's them versus the world, them against the world. Is like, and that's why I was telling you earlier, Capricorns. You guys don't understand just how much of an effect you have on this person. Their entire mood and energy depends on you. They feel so betrayed. You really hurt this person. I feel like they've been very, very stressed out. In Clarity of the Three of Pentacles, you have the devil. This is your sign. The devil represents Capricorn. Okay? And um, I do feel like you are now having more control over this situation. Seeing how this person is so in distress i feel like it's it's finally opening your eyes to see just how how much of a dominant person you really are even even if you didn't see it in the past um they have a lot to say about you and this other person for some of my capricorns you're not even with anyone else so this is just them being jealous or very soon, someone new is going to come in. I know I did a, a previous Capricorn reading. I think it was like a day or two ago. And there's someone new coming towards you. All right. Um, let's see. Then you have the Eight of Wands. This is coming in fast. Some kind of action towards you is going to happen very fast. Whether this is them coming towards you literally or them speaking their truth. It's It's coming because they've been holding it in for too long with this Ten of Wands. They've been holding in their feelings. Uh, Page of Wands was out. Yeah, Page of Wands. These are all clarity cards. Pages represents communication. They feel like this communication will bring you back to them and pull you away from the other person that you're with or the other person that they think you're with. <laughs> Five of Wands it's going to cause commotion, okay? There will be a fight. This person is so, they're so heartbroken. It's like they feel like they've been cheated on pretty much, <laughs> which is interesting because for a good amount of you, you and this person are probably not even officially together. But this soulmate connection, they've been holding on to it for so long. And, you know, you have the King of Wands here, so they're definitely protecting. It's like I'm protecting my woman or I'm protecting my man. Like 
this King of Wands feel, feels territorial. This King of Wands feels like, you know, there's a threat. There's competition here. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. So that's what's happening. All right, Capricorns. Um, I do hope that this helps. Remember, it's general, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, you're welcome to book a private reading with me if you're interested. The link is in the description box. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. So thank you guys so much. Please be safe out there, and you have a great day.